I, I started as a home brewer, uh, brewed like uh, two or three times per week. And then the, the beers got so popular in Estonia that I already started providing some restaurants and, and uh, some bars. So it got a bit out of hand. I need, needed to legalize this. <laughs> so, so that's why the, the gypsy brewing came in. Uh, uh, didn't have uh, money for a room facility yet. So. And you, you the next logical step was gypsy brewing. We, we built our own brewery uh, 2015 and then uh, started brewing here in 2016. But, but in between, we were, there was a hiatus. We didn't brew for, for like uh, at least half a year or so. All right. Anyway, one thing I did was get the th theoretical background. Uh, I was reading a lot before I brew uh, any beers, like half a year. I just kept re reading books and articles and uh, forums. So I knew what I'm doing when, uh, when I'm brewing the first batch. And I started with, um, with classic styles to, to get the basics uh, right. And then started building my own recipes and, and uh, started experimenting and, and with some freaky, uh, freaky ingredients. And so it got a bit wider. But I started with classic styles like pale ales, porters, brown ales, stuff like that. 